Well, this is a very different president from what we heard seven months ago when the Snowden revelations first, first broke and uh, threw his administration into turmoil. Back then, he sounded dismissive and defensive. And, and the main uh, thrust of his responses since then really has been that you have to trust us, that uh, these surveillance programs, which have been revealed um, piece by piece over the last few months, are, are in good hands. Now, a different president, a constitutional law professor again, though, but ad admitting, accepting the principle that even the principle of trust is not good enough. This is, this is what he said. Given the unique power of the state, it is not enough for leaders to say, trust us, we won't abuse the data we collect. For history has too many examples when that trust has been breached. Our system of government is built on the premise that our liberty cannot depend on the good intentions of those in power. It depends on the law to constrain those in power. Accepting that principle, the president then went on to outline the reforms, but they were uh, long on principle, not really uh, that long on detail. We're going to have, he said, a new system of public defenders in the secret court system so that spies uh, can't just go to a secret judge and ask for approval for surveillance requests. There will be advocates in there advocating on the behalf of ordinary Americans. Um, there will be restrictions on how Americans can spy over overseas with a, a list of six missions that need to be accomplished and anything outside of that like spying on friends like Angela Merkel we assume uh, won't be allowed uh, but the most contentious issue what to do with the bulk phone records that the American spies have been collecting without anyone knowing all American phones phone records being collected the storage of that information uh, he hasn't quite decided what to do with that he wants it not to be in the hands of the NSA but to be in a private organization outsourced to a third party but he wants the details of that to be sorted out by Congress and by the intelligence community. So in a sense, passing the buck uh, further down the road into other hands. But he says it's a complex issue and he can't just sort it out on his own.